Hi guys, Jordan with Motion Array, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to create this quick change loop trend inside of Premiere Pro. So this trend has been going around social media and I thought this was a great opportunity, not only to show you how to pull off the transition itself, but to break down the techniques that actually go into making this effect. Because there's a couple different things going on and all of them can be used individually in different projects down the line. But let's start at the beginning. Here's the basic premise. You throw a bunch of clothing on the ground and then appear where those clothes land and then repeat the process all the way till the end. What's cool about this trend is how seamless it looks like you're transitioning and appearing. There's a couple little tricks, but it all starts with filming. Start by locking your shot off on a tripod and having somewhat of a nice looking background. Find two spots for yourself, getting as close to the third of frame as you can, just to look nice and also to make sure that you're not spilling off the side of the screen. Start recording. Take a bunch of clothes in your hand and then film yourself starting from a crouching position, then popping up really fast and throwing those clothes to the side immediately. Then change into those clothes you just threw and stand in the position they landed in. Don't stop recording here or even touch the camera. Just keep it rolling all the way until you're done everything. Even the slightest movement from just touching the recording button can change your framing enough to break the entire illusion. For the next shot, make sure to already be holding the next set of clothes that you wanna change into. Start crouching, jump up, throw them down again, and repeat this for an even number of times and end by throwing the same clothes you started the first shot with. That way everything can loop together perfectly because you're throwing the same clothing you started in and they're landing in the same place that you started in. You also wanna make sure that when you shot yourself at the very start, you started crouching down before you jump up and throw the clothes so that you can continue the loop. And with this trend, there's also some lip syncing that goes on, so that needs to be done at the beginning as well. Now that you've filmed everything, bring it into Premiere Pro and place it down on the timeline and just make some very rough cuts where you're gonna be throwing the clothes and where the new you is going to appear. So once you've cut all that down, it should look something like this. Pretty rough, but you can see the basics coming through. But you wanna have multiples of yourself on the screen at the same time. So what you need to do is bring the second clip where the new person appears up one layer and then drag the remainder of the previous shot underneath until that version of you leaves the frame. Now on the top layer here, you can add a mask around your new character that just appeared and make sure it extends all the way past the edge of the frame. Feather it a little bit and then keyframe it so that it expands until the old you fully exits the frame. The result is that a new you now appears and the old you is also there until you leave the frame. Repeat this process for every throw and add some more fine detail to the mask paths. And to make it loop perfectly, what I do is take that very first clip and duplicate it and bring it to the end by holding Alt or Option and clicking and dragging it over here. Now take your playhead and place it at the very start of this new copied clip. Extend it backwards over top, and then chop off this portion to the right of the playhead. Now you can use this to make the new you appear where you start crouching down. Just make sure that you don't change the timing of the end of this clip here. The reason is because now if you set an out point and activate looping, you can see that the cutting point between the end of our clip here and the beginning of our timeline creates a seamless loop. And if you wanted more information on how to create seamless loops, we have an entire video dedicated to just that concept. So now we can highlight everything, nest it, and we can make some speed and timing adjustments to make sure that all the throwdowns happen on the downbeat of the song, and we can make each section happen at the same pace. There's so much action going on that even if you change from 100% to 120% really quickly, people really aren't gonna notice the difference or care. When you do these actions in real life, you're probably not gonna be nearly fast enough and your timing is gonna vary from scene to scene. So increasing the speed for each of these sections from anywhere from 101 to 125% can help smooth out the timing. You can go above 125%, but if you go a lot farther, you risk starting to look silly and comical. Okay, so now this is what you should have. We're all done, right? Well, not quite. You can still see some imperfections, and even though you could use this as is if you really want to, I wanna add a little bit of subtle camera shake to really sell the impact when it happens. This is also really gonna help to smooth out the transition and tie in every single time somebody new appears. So what I'm gonna do is add an adjustment layer by right clicking and adding it to my project window. Then add in an adjustment layer over top of each hit appearance for around two to four frames. Then I'm gonna add a motion array camera shake. This is the one that I'm using and if you're interested to test it out, it's free to download and try out to see if you really like it. And I've left a link in the description below. It basically creates a shaking look by changing the position, but it also repeats the edges of frame so that you don't get black edges, which would destroy the illusion. I've already installed it in Premiere, so I can just drag and drop it onto my adjustment layer and it starts to work immediately. I'll just adjust the amount to my liking and I personally like around 160 and I think that gives me the best result. And now with all that done, this is the final effect. Oh no, I hope I don't fall. <laughs>
Guys, I really hope that you like this brief tutorial on how to get this quick change effect. The concepts involved like cutting on motion, using motion to smooth out a transition, and even stuff like basic masking can all be used to enhance your future video projects. And like I mentioned, I've left a link to our Motion Array plugin so that you can check them out for yourself. They're all completely free to download and try out. There will be a watermark on top of them, but you can use our shifter set of transitions 100% free with no watermark, just as our way of saying thanks for giving us a chance. And fun fact, I actually use the shifter set myself for every single Motion Array video. But guys, that's it for me. Thanks so much for watching and I can't wait to see you in the next video. Bye.